Hey, how's it going? And this is the video. This is the sauce. I'm going to go away everything in this video. Everything what we do to scale online coaches from 10k a month to 25k a month. So basically, if you're stuck at this range and you want to predictably scale, this video will be the only video you need to take yourself all the way to 25k a month or even more. So stay till the end because I'm going in depth on everything that we do. And after this video, you will know how to automate your prospecting to get as much qualified and warm leads as possible or to convert the audience that comes in. And also how to build a scalable backend, which might be the only thing you need to scale your business all the way to 25, 30, 50, even 100K a month. This is the lever, the final lever that you will ever need to actually take your business to the next level. So before we get into it, I'm just going to show you some proof so you know that I'm not talking shit and this actually works. So we actually managed to build a 130k pipeline after three, three weeks of working with Antonio. And as you can see, we booked I mean, 60 calls in 20 days. I can see we even, have, even had a 10 calls day, right? And we were hitting crazy numbers with the calls. As you can see, we had like two, three, four, five, seven, eight, seven calls here. Then we got like five here. And then we had a bunch here. Um, Wednesday was the closers day off and that's why. And as you can see, we were booking like crazy. And we even got to the point where we needed more closers, right? Because like, as you can see, the closers were literally missing appointments because we had too much. That was going crazy, literally. So we used the exact same system to get Antonio booking calls for his new coaching business. And we implemented everything that we implemented here. And also, Carlton, what we did for Carlton is we launched the ads. And we actually got a call booked in 15 hours and it was only at $7 ad spend. And that was just at the beginning. We launched the first ad to get Meta going, right? And we actually got a call with $7 in the first 15 hours. As you can see here, a call booked. Call is fine, I'm available now. Yeah, so that's pretty crazy. We're getting nice results, bunch of calls. So yeah, let's get right into it. So you know how you can implement this for yourself and take your own business from 10K a month to 25K a month or more. So when building this product, I saw coaches between 5 to 10k a month in the industry doing cold outbound and spamming organic content and struggling. And I saw gurus who tell you to do one thing, while they themselves are doing something completely different. And I asked myself, how can I create a product to predictably scale someone's business that's automated and sells the biggest bottleneck of coaches stuck at around 10k a month, which is lack of consistent qualified calls in your calendar. While we were creating this offer, we were like, how can we help people make a 10k month and get them to 25, 30, or even 50 plus k a month? Most gurus to kill you to do one thing, right, which isn't scalable and won't get you far, and will get you stagnant in this one position. And with this product, we're able to get you to 25, 30, or even 50k easily, because this is super scalable and really it all depends on the amount you want to put on the ads. If you need more clients, just gonna put in more into the lever. And how we do that in a way so that you can focus all of your attention on what actually matters, which is building your brand and getting the best client results possible. Because that's ultimately what's going to drive your business forward. I realized that it's not spamming meaningless content all day. It's not sending out 100s of DMs to prospects who have heard the exact same offer 100 times, because that's what the gurus will tell you. Because they copy pasted the same framework they took from Alex Omorzi. And it's not stealing other people's Facebook groups audience, hoping one of these people is somehow interested in what you have to sell. So this is basically the opposite of the gurus are, are telling you to do. And the best part is that the gurus are doing this themselves. They won't tell you because it's easier to sell you on something that is more familiar to you. They won't tell you what actually produces the most leads for them. And that's exactly what I've done and the product keeps on improving. The reason I'm giving it all away for free is genuinely because I want you to implement it, see how well it works, and then come to us to scale you to the moon. These are the three major parts to get into seven figures. You need automated prospecting, so get an attention automated conversions, converting that, that's attention, and a scalable backend, being able to handle that attention without everything you break it, right? Obviously, you want the prospecting to be automated, the conversions to be automated, and then the missing key will be the scalable backend, which will actually shoot your business forward. So the automated prospecting. So we don't place growth special, specialists in your business. We don't tell you to spam content with the hopes of getting a bit of traction. We're not focusing on reach. We're focusing on money and, one dri and what drives money and builds something that compounds over time. We don't run ads to a very cold audience and tell you to close leads who we're never going to buy anyway. Our leads that come in are not going to buy or die. We're keeping them and we're compounding them around over time. So eventually they'll buy. So cold outbound is probably the best way for you to get your first few clients in the door. 
create your first few case studies and get some cash flow to actually scale. But the thing is that problem starts to arise whenever you try to scale. A lot of people, including myself, end up in a situation where they sign a few clients and then they realize that they need to somehow make next month's revenue, which means you have to do cold out outbound again. So here's what you're doing. You're doing cold outbound, you get like 10 clients. Then you have those 10 clients, right? And then when the end of the month comes, you have no new clients at the door. And what do you have to do? You have to spam cold outbound to get those clients. So it's not scalable because you have to do cold outbound all the time. Once you reach five to 10K a month, scaling stops being about pushing and starts being more about pulling. It's the point at where your attention is starting to become more valuable because you already have case studies, you have the clients, and now you have to make people come to you rather than pushing out to other people. So what we want is to attract hyper-targeted fits for our offer and bring them inbound to us. We do this by identifying the top 20% of our clients who get 80% of results. So that all the case studies that you're getting and we speak directly to those people in a dead simple ad. There are three main reasons we run ads. One, what's gonna happen is Meta is going to narrow down to the people and bring them in round two, to the perfect fits, to the warm audience, to the 20% of people who are getting 80% of results. We do this because when you bring in the perfect fit, you ultimately end up with a better product and more money to spend on marketing to bring in even more perfect fits. This turns into a self-reinforcing feedback loop and gives us a compounding effect, what I was talking about. At the start, we want to build your brand and we want to compound rather than pushing yourself and then having to do that over and over again because if you don't, you won't get clients, right? So we have like a feedback loop. Let me just try it real quick. Boom, boom, boom. And we have perfect fits, which are coming to you. If you have perfect fits, you have better client results. If you have better client results, you have better word of mouth. And you have a better word of mouth, you ultimately have a better product and this keeps on reinforcing itself until your product just scales, scales, and scales and builds that compounding effect. And the other thing that contributes to this compounding effect, the fact that these ads are going to be follower ads. This means that after these people follow you, you can market them all day long in your content. And then here's just a quick pyramid. You have like three stages of people being ready to buy. So they're either not problem aware, problem aware, information gathering mode, buying now. And the thing with the follower ad is that we're targeting everyone. With cold outbound, cold ads, direct response ads, you're targeting just the top of the pyramid, right? And what we are doing is we are targeting everyone. And what this will happen is that some people will buy, some people will buy after a week, some people will buy after a month, and then some people will buy after three months. But what stays the same? The fact that they are going to buy and you're going to own their attention, they're going to be in your audience, and even if someone is not problem aware, you get them problem aware, then they're going to start gathering information because they're interested. You sparked that curiosity and then they're going to be ready to buy because they saw you in the first place. They went through your content. We optimized your profile. Everything's perfect. And like I said, the leads don't just buy or die. We are building an audience of buyers, an audience of people who want your stuff and they're going to buy now or they're going to buy in six months. But the key is they are going to buy. Going to buy. We're not putting the audience to buy or die. We're not targeting the top of the funnel. We're not leaving money on the table. We're targeting everyone. The second point, we want something that is scalable and predictable. And running these ads let us directly control the amount of attention we get on our offer with a click of a button. So you don't have to manage all those cold outbound teams, right? Prospecting for you every day, making sure that they do the prospecting, making sure that they have what to prospect because that's, that's another problem. Instead, we're clicking one button, the people are coming to you, we're targeting everyone in the pyramid, we're making them problem aware, information gathering mode, and then to buy, and eventually everyone's gonna buy, right? That's the ideal situation, and that's what we optimize for. And if the numbers tell us that for every $1 we put into the system, we're gonna get $7 out, then we can scale infinitely. It's all about how much times you click in the button to get the leads coming into you, which is why I'm not a fan of using content as top of the funnel. Using just content, you're relying on the algorithm on Instagram. You have to spam, you have to make sure you're making content. With this system, our clients are literally posting two times per week and they get the, the ideal results because what they're doing is their profile is already optimized. The content is very nurturing. They other YouTube and we're pouring in leads to them so that they can put in $1 and get $7 out every single time and scale infinitely. I'm not saying it's a bad thing obviously it works you can have posts do well if you hammer volume and it helps grow your audience and your page but what it lacks is consistency predictably 
and being able to control the amount of attention that we get and the money that we make with the click of a button. This goes back to what I said about scaling, being about attracting and pulling and not about pushing. Right, so that was the first pillar. Second thing you need to scale is automated conversions. This is about driving traffic through what is actually gonna convert to people, which is your content. Like I said before, we're optimizing the profile and we're pulling the perfect fits in and we're nurturing and they're gonna make them problem aware, information gadget mode and buying mode eventually. Because the thing that makes an ad hyper profitable and go from a three times return to an eight to 10 times return, is what happens behind the ad and how you are actually converting the people who come in from your ad. The only thing that the ad does is bring in super quality fits to your offer. And the content is here to sell. Many people just skip the step and go straight from the ad to the call, like lead form ads or VSL ads. This lacks the compounding effect and you're targeting the top of the funnel. So obviously you will get results and you're leaving a lot of money on the table because you're not actually building some that compound compounds. And that's almost as bad as doing cold outreach. The prospects who go through these funnels haven't seen what your mechanism is. They haven't seen your client results and they haven't seen your face on the screen. They see you the first time. They haven't observed as much value from you as possible to actually trust you and ultimately buy your stuff. Because I'm not sure how about you, but I wouldn't buy a program from anyone if I didn't watch at least one long form YouTube video in which they're talking like for 30 minutes at least, right? To get them to trust you. They're actually a legit person and they actually have the results and they actually can help you with your problem. Because the biggest lever here is trust. And that's what's behind that. We do both types of content, short form and long form. Short form is what prospects are going to see first, right after they follow you. So you have to optimize that to indoctrinate as much as possible. So we want to make sure that it's dialed in. So what we do is we focus on the Cole Gordon seven beliefs a prospect must have, must have. So Cole Gordon got these seven beliefs and he basically says, if you cover all of those on a sales call, you'll get a close. But what we're doing is we're leveraging that in the content so that the people that watch your content are nurtured they get on these beliefs. So pain, what, what are they struggling? Doubt, do they doubt they, that they can do it themselves? Cost is the cost of not investing greater than the cost of investing. Desire, so what's their desire? What do they want to get out of this? And can you help them? Money, are they financially capable? Support, you can say something like, does your wife approve that you're a fat fuck, right? And trust, do they actually trust you? And we leverage this into content. We create content around those seven beliefs this nurtures the warm leads that come into you before hopping on a call, before any before any sales calls, they'll be already sold in your content, right? And the second thing we do is we give a shit ton of value. Plus we show proof of our stuff working with case studies, everything to get them to trust you actually. We, and we also throw stones at the mechanisms your competitors are using to get similar results to position yourself as, as unique, simp superior and simpler, right? These are the keys. You can position yourself as unique, superior, and simpler. People will buy from you. And with these four steps, we're dialing every part of content and we're optimizing it as much as possible. Like I said, we don't optimize for reach. We optimize for sales. We're not trying to get reach. We're trying to get money. That's the main goal from here. And this should be your main goal. If you're at 10K and you want to scale, you need money. And for long form, what I personally use and what I recommend is a YouTube channel with multiple VSLs. However, all you really need to get to 50, 100K a month is one main VSL in your bio like these ones our clients are having, as you can see. I steal my blueprint, free training, All right? Since it's your main VSL, you wanna make it long, you wanna make it as nurtured as possible. As you can see, one of our clients has a 27 minute one. We wanna make it nice and long and give it as much value as possible and overcoming all those beliefs. And we actually gave him the template, so he basically didn't have to do anything. All you have to do is hop in front of the camera and record it. So that's perfect and simple. Everybody and their grandmother is posting from content. It doesn't make you unique anymore. People have caught on the trend already. Plus Instagram other algorithm is going down and you don't get that reach anymore. And you're also relying on the algorithms itself. And since everybody is posting short from content, the market is getting extremely used to seeing short from content and they don't just buy based off the short from content anymore. I'm willing to bet you that you've never bought a 5K product purely from a, a few shorts, right? Unless the person had an extremely well-established brand, crazy authority and client results and sales systems, then you can get away with because you're putting a shit ton of trust, but still not the optimal way to go about stuff. Research says that the people need to consume roughly seven hours of your content to become your hottest lead. How are you planning to do that with short from content alone, right? Because posting short shorts have usually about 30 seconds, maybe a minute. And then on YouTube video, you can bang out 10 minute videos, 20 minute videos easily. 
especially if you're giving a shit ton of value and you're talking to your ideal clients, which nurtures itself over time. So what we do with all of our clients is we script out a killer VSL for them, which is a 10 to 30 minute video, depending on how deep you want to go, breaking down your entire process, your mechanism and your client results. And just this one video is going to make people trust you way more than 100 pieces of short form content would. Additionally, if you have a content asset like a VSL, you can use it in your DMs. Instead of losing DMs and close, trying to close them with DMs or pitching a call, you can send them over a video saying this is a free train that might help you and it's perfect for your situation. It will give you a shit ton of value. They watch the VSL, they come back to you and you're converting more people than you normally would. And that's going to make them trust more, trust the process more, be more likely to actually have a call with you because they see the value you can provide and we've actually shown that we care about them. And overall, your close rate is going to be higher because their prospects are going to be pre-sold before the call. They're going to know exactly what you do, how you do it, and why it works. If a prospect gets on a call with you and asks, what do you actually do? You know you're doing something wrong. A confused mind doesn't buy. That's why we're leveraging your brand, the compounding effect, making the short form content dialed, take over the beliefs. Then we also post our YouTube videos, getting the main VSL out and actually getting them to trust you, your results, and then you can actually help them. Because if they trust you that you can help them, then they'll buy basically because that's all they need. They need to know that you can help them and then they'll give you the money. So we're leveraging the VSL and the conversations, putting them in between conversations to convert as many as possible and lead to a sales call way more often than if you did a conversation straight to a sales call. The second part to automate conversations is having conversations, obviously. If you position the content and the funnel right, you'll get people to opt in and book calls on autopilot without even reaching out. With Antonio, we were at four calls booked in 48 hours. That's two calls in 24, that's two calls every single day. And we scaled that to seven, eight, six, averaging six calls per day. And all, all we did to get that extra four calls each day is we leveraged the appointment setting, right? So it's a simple script like this. So you can implement this for yourself. We implemented this for Antonio, this framework, and we got him to, like I said, six to eight calls per day, and he was booking one to two at the start. So take a screenshot right now, uh, implementing your business and get some results from this, because this is insane. We actually had a 10 call a day booked in 24 hours, just after leveraging the appointment setting. So that's insane. Right, and here's the real sauce to make actually a bulletproof, unleakable funnel. So everything we covered above is all you need to scale to 20 to 30K a month. But if you plan to taking this to the next level and you wanna hit seven figures, after establishing lead flow and cash flow, scaling is about building a backend that can actually handle these kind of numbers. So the goal isn't to make 50K one month and then go back to 10K. Our goal is to scale to 50K and be able to handle it so that 50K month becomes our new baseline. There are two main pieces to this. First of all, keeping the funnel tight, making sure nobody slips through the cracks, being able to measure our numbers and identify the bottlenecks. What gets measured gets improved. After about two weeks of launching, what we were seeing with Antonio was that people in the funnel were slipping through the cracks. And this is normal. As you scale, things are going to start to break and then you have to rebuild to be able to handle the no new numbers. So we ask ourselves, how can we make it impossible for anyone to exit the funnel? We need DM sellers reaching out to people Antonio couldn't handle the volume. We need to put those leads in a CRM to track the numbers. We need to be getting KPI reports from the sellers to track our numbers. We need indoctrination sequences after people opt into the funnel in his bio. We need follow-up sequences after people book. And we need a way to track the closer performance and we need to launch retargeting ads. This is something that we didn't do yet, but we're planning to do this very shortly. And after we do, we're going to scale Antonio super, super fast. So what we did to solve this, we built out an entire CRM on Gohai level. This just made it super easy to get everything in one place and make sure the funnel was airtight, bulletproof, unleakable, and that we're not losing anything. Because how do you expect to scale if you're losing leads? Why should you leverage the ad spend if you're losing leads? Just focus on the leads that you're putting in and convert as many of them as possible. And this took us from two calls a day to six to eight calls a day without touching the ad spend. As you can see, we even had a 10 call day, uh, eight calls here, five calls here, average six. And then on Wednesday was Saturday off and then 130K pipeline built from October 17th to November 8th. And like I said, the biggest leverage here, the biggest lever here was the DM setting, which actually got us from one to two calls per day to six to eight. So the second thing is we need to be able to collect the data and have it in one place to be able to identify the bottlenecks and place we can improve because what gets measured gets improved. Having the CRM is what allowed us to very easily track our numbers and see where we were going wrong. 
If you don't find the problem, you can't find the solution. Let me give an example. Tracking the lead. Booking rate helped us notice that not many people were booking a call. So what we did is we placed a DM setter to convert these people and build out follow-up and nurture sequences for everyone who opted in in his bio. Tracking the show-up rate helped us notice that not a lot of people were showing up. So we built booked call reminder sequences and a thank you page with a video on it clearly going over the next steps. As you can see, here's a thank you page. And here are the here are these sequences. Getting feedback from the closers helped us notice that the lead quality was off. So we gathered information, optimized the ad to target the people who were actually qualified and high quality people. As you can see, this is crucial for getting to the next level. And that being said, when you're sitting under 20 to 30k a month, you probably don't need a whole CRM like this yet. Especially if you don't have team members like closers or multiple appointment setters. But if you're heading for seven figures, having everything in one place is a must. So now you know how to automate your prospect in, how to automate the conversions you are getting, and how to build a scalable backend to actually make your funnel unleakable and convert as much of that attention that you're getting. Like I said, how to build a backend that can handle a lot of stress when you actually start to scale. So if this relates with you and you want to scale your online coaching business from 10K month to 30K month, or you want to take this a step further and take your business to seven figures, go to my G profile at camel.t4m, follow me there and message me the word scale. I'll get back to you ASAP. And yeah, this was this for the video. I hope you got some value from it and take care.